welcome to another video. Now this time we're going to do much more techniques and for this reason I've chosen to go into the studio more. You put the raw sienna wash on, then put the blue on round the clouds, don't the negative shapes, the, the paint's grey and there's an underneath that gives the, the shape of the clouds. Foregrounds are usually the, the worst part of a picture. You could not quite sure what to do with it, so you play around with it. Just sideways strokes on you see. Right, having done that, let's talk about trees now. This is another thing that people have uh, a bit of trouble with. They try to put every leaf and every twig in, of course. Take the rigger. See, I'm pressing on hard at the beginning, and then I'm just putting in a distant woods now with fairly weak paint, wet paint, and now even stronger paint here. And this is really thick point paint. Bit of the fingernail. Don't overdo this either. It's a bit of a trick, really. Right, now we've seen what the materials can do for us, let's put them all into practice. So we're out here in the woods again, and I'm going to try to simplify the scene in front of me. Almost tickling the paper. What I want to show you here is how to convert a photograph into a tonal sketch. Now, put the water in. A quick swish across here, just to see how much sharper it is. Colour here. Now we put in some really strong darks. There's the photograph. To the tone sketch, you've got it much more sorted out. Now to the finished picture. The trouble with this water is that everybody over fusses it as well, you see, you, you, they want to put ripples and, and the lot in there. For some reason people are scared of buildings, they avoid them like the plague if they can. The trouble is they're afraid of perspective for a start. By using the, the corner of a brush and the edge and the use, you can get all sorts of effects of it, very simple. 